Alright guys and welcome back to the Saints View, the channel for Southampton content for our match preview ahead of Saturday's big game at St Mary's against Tottenham. It's going to be a big one, definitely, uh, especially after the result at Man United. More the performance actually, that was just absolutely fantastic. Uh, very unlucky not to come away with anything after that. We'll get into that in a little bit. But yeah, another game against the top six side. Can we get something from it? Personally, I think we can and we'll get into that. Uh, but we, we do need to start picking up points. So for starters then, let's have a little look at our opposition. Tottenham, obviously in midweek, they did go through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League with a 1-0 win over Dortmund. 4-0 on Aguirre. Pretty routine stuff after that fantastic first leg performance. And they'll be, they'll be confident. They almost lost the North London derby last time out in the league. They haven't been in the greatest form. Lost away at Burnley recently as well. And they when they've won games, they haven't really won convincingly. They've needed late, late winners. Um, and you know, I think we can play to the advantage of that. Obviously, we played a fantastic game at Old Trafford on Saturday. Two spectacular goals, three or four, maybe even all five of them uh, throughout the whole game from both sides. But obviously, ultimately, we came away with nothing after such a good performance, which was disappointing. But sometimes these things happen. We've got to accept that. We do have VAR next season, so hopefully, more games like that are infrequent. But we also have to look at the performance against Fulham. Very good. I mean, Fulham was just poor on the day. I think they made it easy for us personally. I thought we actually played better against Cardiff. And look how that turned out. So it just shows uh, that the opposition just weren't good enough. And they'll be completely different with Spurs. You know, they're not in the best of form at the moment when it comes to the lead. They've had some pretty poor performances. But, you know, they've got a great record against us. Um, and... You can, you can see them getting a result. But I think what we need to look at is our last two performances. The performance up at Arsenal was just awful. It just wasn't good enough. People say, oh, in the second half we improved. It, it was never, We were never going to get something from that game after the start. Um, but we move on from that. Obviously, got the vital win against Fulham in midweek. That was the one out of the three games last week where we really needed to get a win. Um, and we deserve the point at Old Trafford. You know, how often do we say that? So... I think overall a positive week, so yeah, I think we just go into the game with confidence, we're playing well, um, but it's vital that we start picking up points, because we're two points above the relegation zone, Cardiff look like they've just lost it completely, had a shocking week last week, they've lost Sol Bamba now with an ACL, um, so it's really, we're in the position really where it's, our, it's ours to lose when it comes to uh, the relegation fight. We may be at an advantage as well, Pochettino will be in the stands for this game after his uh, harsh words, uh, let's say for Mike Dean after their defeat at Burnley a couple of weeks ago, he, he obviously won't be on the touchline, so that could play to an advantage if there's a poor communication between him and the coaching staff, and then obviously onto the team. Obviously, we also try and use the uh, excuse that they had a midweek game. I think Spurs are just used to playing these um, sort of three games a week now, so we can't use that as an excuse. But it, I think it's going to be closer than what pundits will think. Um, I think we'll give them a really good game. And I can see us getting something from this one. We obviously got a point against Spurs at home last season when we were playing dreadfully. I don't know how we did that. Um, and I, I can see us getting a point again in this one. Um, and I think if there was any other time for us to beat Spurs at home whilst we've been back in the Premier League, I think, I think this is probably the best chance we've had. And I'm not saying that because of the results, but I'm saying that performances... We're in okay form. Like We've, we've had some good performances uh, over the last couple of games. Spurs haven't. And maybe maybe that could play to our advantage. In terms of team news, Harry Kane is obviously back fit and firing for them. Deli Alley could be back as well. Youngman's son, however, has been outstanding this season. And, and for me, is the main threat that we need to be looking out for because obviously he offers goals as well as creativity. Uh, Hugo Lloris hasn't had the best of seasons, season, so I think if we just keep getting shots on target, maybe we may find ourselves lucky and get a goal through a goalkeeping mistake. But I think the message I'm trying to put across is we just have to go for it. We can't be sort of put off by the fact that it's a top six side and it's obviously Spurs who are one of the best in the league. We just we have to go for it and we've seen that again, you know, we saw that against Arsenal down at St Mary's. We saw it out of Trafford last weekend. You know, we can we can go for it but we have to start well. Because if we don't start well Spurs could get an early goal and then I think that's just it. And then after this game obviously we've got a massive break so I think it'd be incredible to finish the uh, finish the period off with three points 
and then go into a three week break because obviously FA Cup commits and then the international break and then a massive game a massive game down at Brighton after this one in terms of team news Danny Ings will be injured for this one unfortunately as well as Mario Lamina they just need their rest and they should both be back after the break uh, in terms of our actual team news and team selection even go and watch Tom's video his preferred 11 will be out tomorrow if you're watching this on Friday it will be out now hopefully um, or just <laughs> it'll be out soon uh, so go check that out that will be the team we'd like to start with thank you very much for watching though guys sorry it's a bit of a short video um, and sorry it's come out a little bit late we really appreciate your support of late and just to say we are still running that giveaway where we will be giving away a Southampton shirt of choice on Saturday so do go and check out our Twitter it's our pin tweet and you can potentially put yourself in the chance of winning a shirt free of charge just to say thank you to the for the support we've had recently we're closing in on a quarter of a thousand subscribers it's 250 that's the um, but yeah thank you very much for the support of late if you haven't yet subscribed please do go and subscribe and press that subscribe button like as well and we will see you very soon